Parker Bangs uh, got a great camp coming up on January 31st and with the high school baseball starting just a couple of days later. Uh, just talk a little bit about what all you guys are going to be doing because it's going to be a great way to kind of, like as you said, work out the cobwebs and be, be baseball ready when practice starts for high school players. Absolutely. I mean, the, one of the main things about baseball is, you know, being prepared both mentally and physically. And I, I decided to do this camp uh, January 31st, which I think skis we start a little sooner than that, but the public school kids are second, I think, February 2nd. Mm -hmm. So um, it gives everybody a great opportunity to just come out and get some reps in, as you said, or I guess as you said, as I said, knock the, uh, knock the cobwebs out and come out here and have some fun and hopefully get better in the process. Kind of get into baseball mode. Absolutely. Is there, is there a better mode? Is there a better mode? Uh, you got some guys that are going to be out here helping you, former Gamecocks, and I think between, I was doing some some ciphering in my head between of all you guys, I think you got 20 plus years of pro baseball experience, something like that. Talk about the guys that are going to be out here showing these youngsters the the right way to do things. Uh, well, first I'll be out here. Uh, you know, I spent a couple years at the Kansas City Royals organization, um, as as well as the South Carolina, obviously. And then we're gonna have Joey Pancake out here. Everybody knows him, and Grayson Griner, and uh, Jordan Montgomery's gonna be out here too. So we've got uh, catching, hitting, infield, outfield, pitching. Not to mention I have some other guys I may be able to get here. Um, Whit Merrifield, he had I think some big hit at some point, sometime. Uh, if you're Gamecock, fans. yeah, it was out of state. Yeah. It was out of state somewhere, somewhere in Nebraska. So. Somewhere in, yeah, I believe so. Um, Wit may come down. You know, we're still working on if he can fit us into a schedule. Uh, you know, because he's busy preparing for the upcoming season. Also, um, Tyler Webb may show up too. Also, a very successful Gamecock has a chance to, you know, get called up and make to the show in Yankee Stadium this year, which is awesome. So if we can get those guys to come, that'd be great. Also. A, uh, a friend of mine that I played with in high school, he's from Charlotte. He was drafted out of high school with the Boston Red Sox organization. He spent five years with them. His name's David Mailman. Um, he's actually at UFC now, um, trying to help out and stay in the game as much as he can, as well as the rest of the Heathwood Hall coaching staff. They'll be here also. Talk a little bit about the nuts and bolts. Uh, it's an all day deal, right? Yes, sir. And uh, talk a little bit about for, for the young young people and the parents that may be considering this, kind of how the day will go. Well, first, um, I'd like to give a shout out to the Village Idiot who will probably be supplying us with our lunch. Uh, I'd like to give Brian a, Brian, yeah. Got to give Brian a reference. When Brian Glenn, can. shout out. Oh, yeah. Um, so lunch and t-shirt will be provided in the day, first and foremost. Um, we'll start at 10 o'clock, get some stretching in get some defensive work in, guys will split up into the positions that they want to work on, you know, with the coaches that go along with those positions. Obviously, Grayson will be doing catching, Joey will be doing infield. My buddy Dave, who played in the outfield, he'll be doing that. Probably if Witt comes, he'll probably be, well, Witt does everything, do whatever he wants. Um, always has. Always, right? And uh, so we'll work on some defensive stuff. We'll get into some strength and conditioning stuff, you know, to try to get guys ready, you know, get their body more prepared for the season and and I uh, haven't worked out the exact timing of it yet but we may do lunch after that mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure mm -hmm. and then we're gonna have a bunch of hitting a bunch of hitting because you know you can't win if you can't score runs that's right so you get the defense and you get the hitting um, we'll do base running also you know try to learn some things take advantage of some of the issues go along with high school cat or high school baseball you know lazy catchers, stuff like that, try and take as many bases as we can, hopefully. Um, teach kind of the Heathwood mentality on running bases. Um, and then we're gonna end the day with some live gameplay. So probably coach pitch scrimmage, but it's still a scrimmage, which I know kids love to do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the thing that's uh, that's cool about this, of course, first and foremost, I think, is the timing. I mean, it, it really is an opportunity to get back in, you know, jump back in, put your foot back in that water with baseball just starting up. But uh, the other part of it is that this isn't just uh, just some, frankly, just some other guys. These are guys that are real pro players. These are guys that really know what they're talking about. So I think it's going to be, it seems like it would be a uh, an extra fun thing for the kids because, hey, we all want to be big leaguers, right? 
Absolutely. And you're around some guys that are either on the way there or still are playing professional baseball. So I think it's kind of a double shot. You get instruction, but you get instruction for the real thing and not just a bunch of old men like me telling you, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Absolutely. I mean, it's that's kind of why. I mean, I'm lucky enough to have a lot of friends who are very good at this game. And, uh, and I'm going to try and make the most out of that, obviously, in terms of, you know, providing – those guys for the kids of this, you know, the Midlands and all that stuff and try to get guys as, or try to get kids better, you know, and have fun in this game, which is, you know, almost impossible not to do. And that's the other thing. It's going to be a fun day. Absolutely. It's going to be a fun day, which Amen. is, um, tell people here, obviously on our website, there's a big ad where people can uh, get the information of how to get in contact with you to register, but go ahead if you will, and kind of, kind of reiterate that here. Right. Um, there is a picture of our flyer on the, on the website, um, but to register, go or send an email to myself at bangsph at gmail.com with the, with the kids' name, age, and T-shirt size. So we got to make sure that all the, uh, you know, all the T-shirts fit right. Mm-hmm. Or you can contact me at 910-318-6700 if you have any more questions or any you know, specific inquiries, anything like that, I can help you out with as much as possible. Is there any other thing that uh, that parents and or the kids themselves need to know? Uh, anything they'll need to bring? Do they bring, do they need any kind of a physical or anything like that or? No, we have, uh, we have some insurance stuff for you to fill out mm-hmm. uh, during registration, which is why registration starts at 915. Okay. Um, so give them some time to sign up for, or, you know, get all that stuff. So. So, you know, we're not getting taken to the cleaners if a kid gets hit in the face. But uh, <laughs> um, but that's that's really it. You know, it's, it's just basic insurance stuff. Um, so uh, your normal average run-of-the-mill insurance card has all the information that we need. Sounds exciting. Uh, uh, the fact that Pancake and Griner and Montgomery and yourself and other guys out here just, just kind of uh, it makes it extra great. So uh, looking forward to it. I'm going to come out and... Uh, and we'll do some uh, we'll do some interviews. We'll do some do some fun stuff, and maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll step into the uh, step up to the plate and uh, take you deep. <laughs> well, probably wouldn't be hard. Maybe we'll get uh, we'll get Monty up there, so you can try and take him. Yeah. I don't think I'm that difficult. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not thinking the bat will get on the ball, but anyway, <laughs> we're looking forward to it, Parker. Thanks a lot, and uh, this is going to be a fun thing. And again, uh, let me ask you quickly, and we'll do more of this when when the season starts. But how's how's the team looking as far as your Heathwood baseball team? And for folks that don't don't realize it, you're the head baseball coach here at Heathwood Hall. Yes, indeed. Um, well, you know, we had a great year last year. We uh, we finished second in our district, which I think is the first time that's happened in a while. We actually hosted the first round, which is, I think, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know anything about Heathwood before last year, but from what my parents tell me, uh, my players' parents, not my parents, what they tell me, uh, that was the first time that's happened in a while. So nice. you know, we're just trying to build on the success from last year. We lost some guys, but we got some new guys in, so some transfers from some other places. So I think we... I don't want to say better because I don't want to, you know, talk about talk uh, negatively about the guys from last year. But I think this is a very good team. It's got a lot of senior veteran leadership. We've got some guys who uh, got their feet wet before they probably expected to last year, but they're better for it this year. So um, I'm excited about it. I think we have a good shot. What's the first day of practice for you guys? That will be January 19th. 19th. All right. Well, we'll be out and uh, talk to some of your players and uh, following you over the course of the year. Looking forward to the camp, man. Thank you. Thank you.